Welcome back to the channel. Everything is, is going smoothly around here. Uh, last video, I got to meet my boy Kevin. He helped me uh, get the front accessory drive on the actual motor. Now, that was just kind of to, to test fit it to make sure that the belt fit and I understood how it actually worked because that was my first time ever um, doing anything like that. So, uh, what I'm going to work on today, and we have a full day, so we're going to see how much we can actually get packed into this. I don't know where we're going to end. My goal would be to get the train transmission on, um, swap the valve bodies, uh, geez, get, get everything torqued down to spec, maybe even test fit it into the engine or into the engine bay. But there's a couple of things we had to do ahead of time. So if you come over here, you'll notice that right here is the you'll notice right here is the steering arm that comes out from inside i need to shimmy that over with the uh, adapter plate that we have from jeep speed shop so that's something that has to happen before i can even put this in because this right here will hit the cylinder head so yeah we'll definitely get to that okay so with that um you know i, I don't know fully what this video is going to involve but we're going to just keep hammering away and figure out how far we actually can get. So one of the other things that I want to do is um, thank everybody for watching. And remember, we, we have a lot of people watching. Like my watch numbers are quite high, but you're not subscribing. So make sure you subscribe. It really helps out the channel, shows the support to me. Um, so now we're looking at the front of the engine. The first thing that I want to work on is the uh, AC pump right here. So right now it has a stud in here. We know that we have to remove this stud and it, we also need to go over to the actual pump itself and so this pump will attach like like so and we know that this spot right here where one of the bolts goes which is actually Oh, I apologize. It's this top spot right here. Right here, when this is up against there, this sticks out too much and will hit the power steering pump. So Jeep Speed Shop actually has a video that shows you how to modify this corner. So I figured, hey, why don't we start with that part right now? Okay, so one of the things about the AC pump is when this is sitting up there, part of the procedure from Todd was to trim the this, this side of where the bolt goes. So the, according to what he had said, you do a 9 16 countersink. And then I, I just basically looked at the video he had and cut it to about right where it's at right there. I just used a uh, angle grinder and just went bloop and then just ground it down just a little bit smooth. So the idea is that this Allen bolt will just sit down in there. I'm hoping that's, that's good enough. We'll find out when, uh, when I go to put it in, I guess. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up. Really? There we go. Okay. Think we're on. Okay, so we got everything torqued down. It's in the right location. The AC condenser has been trimmed. Hopefully that fits properly. Um, we're gonna kind of uh, jump to something not engine related, but more the, the Jeep related. So as I talked about earlier in this video, we have to move the steering, I don't even know what it's called, the steering shaft. I don't know. Let's just go look real quick. Right here. This is coming from the steering. It needs to move over that way. And we do have the proper uh, adapter here. Let me grab it real quick. The proper adapters right here. Now, one thing that we have to note, 
is that on my model year uh 09 um and this is probably the same for the 8 through 11 i'm not 100 percent sure but the the actual studs are on the inside not on the outside so that means that we need to go underneath the steering wheel and i started this process already so let's do a a quick rundown of how to get underneath or get get, get in here actually um so there's a few different pieces of plastic that we need to need to take off and i'll i'll kind of show you the reverse order of them so the first piece is right on the side right here it's this panel right here that's just held on by little plastic pushing clips i guess you could say so what i did is i just kind of grabbed right at the top right here pulled and then just slowly pried back and forth all the way down so i started right here popped it off from the inside like that and then just kind of worked my way all the way down then moving on to the front right here we still need to get access back into here so the easiest way that i found was this piece right here is what goes on right here it's just held on by once again the the plastic clips so i just underneath on the bottom here i just kind of pried it up and started popping them out it came out fine the next piece is this one this one actually has these these uh clips that actually hook in and they hook on right here so if you think about it like this and then you push it up to get it to snap in so what i did was i just started at the top um i got my little uh pry tool i don't know what i did with it all right right here got my little my little pry tool and i went in on the sides right here and just pop and then on this side pop and it just folds down everything's good next piece is this is the amplifier oh sorry i'm not even showing it this is the stereo amplifier right here it sits down in there uh, in there about like so and it's held on by this bracket that covers up right about there it's three screws one two three this panel comes out then only thing holding the amplifier on is these two plugs. They just have clips on the top, unplug them, and you can move them to the side. Now we can get in here. Let me get some better lighting here. And you can see right where we need to start doing some modifications. Let me see if I can get that to stay right there. Right, I can't get my hand up there. I'm pointing at it. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this very well, but <clears throat> We are going to unbolt that real quick and, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna unbolt that real quick and figure out what we need to grind off to get it to work. Be right back. All right, that was a, uh, a learning experience, that's for sure. So we were able to get the, I'm just gonna call this the steering column. Yeah, that, um, this is the part that, this is the part that sticks out through the, uh, through the firewall. And yeah, so the, bracket let me get some light on the situation here is installed you can see it up there and it um really the just the bottom bolt is on right now the top and bottom left go on with the actual bracket but yeah let me go around here that's what the bracket looks like when it's been shimmied over a bit everything looks good so <laughs> I don't actually have a, a, a grinder to grind that down very well. So I just used a, oh, where is it? Oh yeah, this thing, it's a Dremel on one of those, I don't know, Dremel machines. Where's it at? Can you me that Dremel? Yeah, it's on one of these guys. And I just went up on angles and cut little pieces out. And then I got a file and just filed it down and it actually went fairly easy after i had the file <laughs> i didn't have the file the first time so i had to run to the store and get the one but i think uh i think this is going to be pretty quick to put back together so i'm gonna i'm gonna tighten everything back up get the steering column through i'm gonna come back put on the power steering pump or sorry the the gearbox and then i'm gonna put the whole power steering shaft in I got engine bounce on the engine, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking let's throw the engine in after that just to 
to test fit it because I, I really want to just see it in there. I know I won't have the transmission on or anything like that, but I just want to see it in the engine bay. So let's get to it. All right, that actually went really, really well. We were able to get the steering gearbox in. I do, I have three of the four bolts in. This back one right here, I can't get to on the other side. It's in, but I can't get it to crank down yet. So I gotta wait till some more weights in so I can actually torque that down properly. But we got three of them in, sitting good. This is the new uh, remanufactured one that, that I had purchased because, well, yeah, I just wanted something that didn't leak like the other one did. Um, but yeah, you can see up here, I hit it, hit it with some spray paint just to make sure everything was uh, coated with some rust production. And then, yeah, everything is in. We should be good to go right here. I think I want to test fit the engine right now, just because I want to see what it looks like inside. So, um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? All right, after a long day of working, We've, you've, I feel like we've accomplished a lot. Matter of fact, I'll just get right to it. It's really fun. Yeah, yeah. Boom. We just dry fitted the engine. And, you know, it's, we still gotta take it back out and I even gotta put the transmission back on it, or transmission on it. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I understood how to get the angles right and how to actually make sure that would fit properly going in there. And it took a few tries. Like we had to get the chains we had to set the engine back down, readjust the chains. Even though we have the the uh, load leveler, we still had it. it we, we still couldn't get it right. And it, so yeah, we had to pull it back out. We had to figure out how it would go in properly. We had to figure out how to actually get the bolts in the actual um, engine mounts properly. Um, and it's close. Like, oh, actually, I, I take that back. I feel like it's not super close, but it was it was just close and it's a weird angle that you got to go in on and stuff like that. But let me give you a little preview here. So we got, um, I go over here. This is the engine relocation that we did over here. So we cut out part of the firewall, slid it over. I hooked up the rest of the, the steering and you can see how close it gets to the head. Like, I mean, that's a, that's a finger in there. The engine will, by the way, it's, it's only, the transmission's not in there, so it's kind of just sitting in here right now, but the engine will be closer to about that angle once it's in there. Right now, it's just kind of sitting back towards the firewall. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice and tight in there. Now, the part about the AC pump right here, getting close, and the power steering pump, so, or the power steering gearbox, and it is close, so you definitely have to cut that off. And then it, when it sits back down here, I mean, it is just, I mean, it's there. Matter of fact, when I take it back out, I may, I may be, uh, you know, uh, tapping that just a little bit deeper and maybe cutting off a little bit more just to give a little bit more clearance. But it is, man, look at that. that I mean, that's, that's, that's just close. But holy cow, guys, we are, it's in. Like, yeah, this is a big day. I was pretty excited about it. Um, it was a long day and it, that's about the rest that we're going to do today. So remember, subscribe, 
it's coming along. I want to fire this up. Oh man, I'm not going to jump, but eight days. My goal is eight days and I want to turn the key to see if I can start this thing. I think it can be done. We don't have a terrible ton left to do. So expect a lot of videos coming out over the next eight days here. And yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.